one elite and a boss on the right. We would also were taking one, two fights and a an elite on the left. We're getting one, two fights and an elite on. Think we could take both elites, guys? It's kind of rough. And this is the second second climb. I feel like if we were in better standing. What do you think we should do? Two elites or one elite? I'm pretty confident in our in our build right now. I just I don't know what we're gonna come up against. Um and then we after the elite we get another fight before we get a rest. You say go for two elites? More relics. We just got the Shuriken. Ah! Damn you! The Porky Pit. We gotta avoid 10 damage out of the gate. We're definitely doing that. We're definitely doing this. <clears throat> we'll definitely get rid of this. We can start getting these shivs going. That's 18 damage. <clears throat> or we could just get our potion and get that out of the way. Because this will come back around. Three attacks in a single turn. A gain of strength. I haven't done any attacks left. It's only two attacks. So let's, let's go with this. What do we get? Add three. <laughs> is this is this serious? Is it seriously just say this? Add three shivs to our hand. Should I save that for the boss? That's incredible. I almost can't even believe what I'm seeing here. Cause I can get my strength in right now. I just I could just play this and get the strength in. I almost want to save this for the boss, because it's so good. I mean, not even for the boss, but for this elite that's just down the corner here. So we'll probably get one more potion from these guys. Play it if I need it. Let's let's go with that, because that one strength is really going to come in handy for that elite. What's up? Alm Harith, welcome. Thanks for joining us. I know, seriously, a perfect potion for it. <laughs> I can't even, I was like, what? Am I seeing things here? All right, well, definitely our footwork. Oh, boy, oh boy. 14 damage. We'll gain our... 8 block. It's dealing 12 damage. Holy smokes. I might have to actually... I might actually have to do this. Use this potion. It's 12 damage. I can avoid 8 of it this way. I can also get the 4 plated armor. To avoid that damage. <clears throat> if I play these shivs, I can just outright kill this dude in the back and not have to worry about him anymore. And start going in. I can get the strength by playing this. That one energy. I kind of want to kill somebody. Nine. Just a little bit more and I can kill him. It's just too tempting. It's just too tempting. I can gain two strength and technically. You know what? I'm going to do this. And gain my... Four plated armor. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Hold on to this. Don't like taking all this damage. Okay, we'll do this. And we'll discard... 
A strike. Piercing wheel. That's what I want to see. Add two shivs to our hand. We'll take this dude out. <clears throat> we'll start getting into him. 816. That's enough block. That's all I need. And I'll end turn. And I'll hold on to both of these, please. Alright, now we start getting... It just takes a little bit to get this going. It seems to be. I just... If I could survive, like, the first two or three rounds, <clears throat> then it's like I'm in a good... I'm in good shape. Neutralize this tool. Only taking 20 damage instead. Definitely get this power. Get some shiv action going. I might as well pierce and whale him. <clears throat> Avoid that damage. We'll defend again, which should be enough. We'll end and hold on to these two. Taking two damage. Not bad. All right, we're getting to him. We're getting to him. All right. Shivin. Shivin that. Technically, I should be playing the weaker weaker attacks first. So that's something else. If I really want to get into the nitty gritty here, play the weaker attacks first, so I can get my strength and to boost the the shivs. Oh, dude, yeah, well laid plan, best card in the game for sure. I, ha I saw it. I had to take it. I upgraded it for that very reason. It's just ridiculous, especially with this class. It gets stupid. I need a little bit of block. With my plated armor, this is enough block. I'm gonna outmaneuver. You all remember what to do whenever anyone says a secret word, right? I legitimately Scream. now to this. I forgot the secret word again. Scream your love. Such a dope. We'll get some attacks going. I will definitely be changing that. It was funny because I thought about it right before I went live. I was like, I have something to do, and I was like, I forget what I was supposed to do. Now I know what I was supposed to do. 10, 11, so... Oh, he's he's toasted. Two, three, two more shivs, four, five. Woo-wee! Woo-wee! Okay, none of these cards I'm interested in, really. Deal 14 damage to all enemies, discard one card at random. I don't... I mean, that's a good, it's a, it is a great card. It's upgraded. So if we're going to vote on any card, I would say number one if we take it. But I, I don't want to end up bogging our card, our deck down. Um, Bouncing Flask doesn't really help us <clears throat> because we're not really going to Poison Build. I mean, it's nice, but it's too late, I feel like, to go with a Poison Build. I don't want to just bog ourselves down with random cards. And it's expensive. Bane, I only have one Poison card in the deck, so this is also not really helping us. So... If we're going to put a card, <clears throat> I would say all out attack, number one. But if that's if we're going to put a card, um, we can also skip stuff and not have to worry about anything, which I'm kind of like on that wavelength too. Like I'm actually even not even opposed to skipping. I almost should have. I feel like I should have voted for skip rather than all out attack, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's free damage. All right, let's hope for something awesome. Shovel. You can now dig for relics at rest sites. Instead of... it's That's like he, instead of healing or smithing. All right, so I don't have that much hit points. That many, that much. That many hit points. Definitely playing that. We'll neutralize this fool in the front to avoid some of that damage. We'll defend. We'll blade dance. We'll shiv. One. Two. I usually go after the girl in the back, but... So, that was a perfect round to do that, so I got the two strengthen off of that. 
I usually go after the girl in the back, but I don't know what made me go the first in the front. VIP, baby! I, I, I've seen the shovel, but I've never played the shovel. Okay, another power. Got some free damage here, too. Discard one... 16 damage to all enemies, discard one card at random. Well, we're definitely gonna do that. Jeez, this guy's almost dead in the front already. Of course, we still have no defense. Taking a beating here. Which I don't like. Ah, I hate her. Accuracy. Now our ships are actually dealing some damage. Twelve. Said that. But late plans. I wish I could just do one more attack this round. Alas, I cannot. But I have well laid plans now, baby. Show a little gemmy badge. It is a nice badge. It looks so pretty. I'm happy that you have it. Welcome to VIP. In 2019, about half of me watching Twitch was <laughs> people playing uh, Shake This Fire. I know it is good, but not always why. Fair enough. I, I mean, I trust everyone's opinions. I'm definitely going to play this just to get the potion. That power is too good not to play. We want our shivs. We need our three strikes. Not dealing any damage, so I'll do this. I'll get rid of that defense. And I'll end our turn and hold on to survivor and outmaneuver. So then the following turn, if I don't kill her this turn, I can outmaneuver. Which I am killing her. Yeah, she's toasted. Hey, at least I got our, our potion. Cow traps. That's like a no-brainer. That's also a great card. It's just, a, it's just easy free damage. All three of these cards are dope. Piercing Whale is always good, especially with the fact that we can retain it. Dodge and Roll, it's the weakest of the three, in my opinion. And Caltraps, it's just free damage back. I mean, it's it's free damage. So, I'm opposed. I, I think that out of these two, I would definitely vote number one. And number three is just too convenient to have the free damage. Especially if we can upgrade it. I would love to play more defensive. I think that that's one thing that we're, we have to consider is that it seems to be that we don't have a lot of in the way of defenses here. So the piercing whale would really help us. I'm not, I'm where I'm at in block. I'm not doing too well in block. I have dexterity and I have basic blocks and stuff, but I can use more block, but I'd rather have the piercing whale than the block, honestly, because this card's really good. Like I said, Caltraps is just at any time I'm attacked three damage back. So that's like the multi attacks when enemies deal like three hits in one turn. Whew, I am. Oh, see, this will be a perfect example of when that will come into play. All right, so at least they're not going crazy with damage out of the gate. So I can get, I can strengthen up here. <clears throat> one, two. Three, four, kill him. Boom. And I got a strengthen out of it too. Can't retain anything yet. Ugh, the three strengthen. I don't want to see that. Oh, so much damage. Well, we absolutely have to play that. Gain an artifact. I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, I'm taking so much damage right now. So this is, when we lose, this is why. We just don't have that block. Oh. That hurt so bad. Brr. Ok, 
cow traps. Slice, shiv, all out attack for the three three attacks. Slice, and I'll get the three strengthen from it too. 15 damage to both, so at least I kill the guy in the front. Ooh, and get another energy. Shwiggity sweat. Kill side, man. Nice. Yeah, they, those little things are annoying. Alchemize is just such a cool card, card concept. Yeah, it's it's especially helpful for us. What is he doing? Buffing. Well, we know we're playing this. We know we're playing this. I'm going to prepare and get rid of Phantasma Killer. I'll definitely infinite blades. And I will... Oh, I can almost kill one! Should I be going after these little... I don't know, they're so annoying. I don't want to just keep wasting my time trying to kill these little things. But I don't want to deal, get damaged from them. I feel like this is not going to go well for us, guys. Oh, yeah, this is not going well for us. I have to do this. Still 12 damage. Ugh. So he's not shielded, so I'm going after him. I almost should have shaved one of the shivs. Yeah, 11 damage shivs is pretty good. Yikes. Okay. To neutralize is just the free weaken. I'm gonna shiv him for the three attacks for the extra strengthened. I can get, technically get rid of, actually, you know what? I am going to Phantasmal Killer. Choose a card to discard. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to Phantasmal Killer for my next turn. I'll just try to go in as hard as I can on him. So I'm going to keep both of my strengths and go for broke here. Because they're doing double damage. So even though he's going to get shielded, I should be able to get through it. I think I survived another match. This next elite's gonna be near impossibly. Yeah, we got this. Nice. Okay. Ooh, another potion. Whenever you play a power card, heal two hit points. I love that. I love that. We needed that. That's two hit points right at the start of every turn. We can vote. Well, I mean, this power plays into it. This footwork would be really nice to have right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And another free, another good slice. I feel like being that we don't have a lot of, a lot of defense cards, <laughs> making them be as powerful as possible with footwork. And then when we play this, we get two hit points. I feel like this is a really good card for us right now because we are struggling with the slow hit points. I'm almost gonna play like all my potions right at the beginning. I might even play the escape from a non-boss combat just to get the hit points from it. On this turn. Thanks for everyone voting, I appreciate you all. I'm back, thanks for the vote. My cat is being a, a mush right now. Hold on, I don't even know if we'll be able to see him. Yeah. He's such a mush. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let's do this. <laughs> mush cat. Oh, man. We are so low on hit points. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do right now? Peace the F out of here. <laughs> Greed! 
seven. 14. Hold on. If I can block 14 damage, I might actually stick around for this fight. And only if and only if. We're going to play our power point, power thing, to gain the defense. Alright. We are sticking around to try to heal as much as possible. Hold up. We have plans. I should have played cow traps, but hold up. How, how did you feel damage? I messed up. I messed my math. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Any other power to play here? Hold on. Did it work? Did I get hit? Did I, oh, whatever. I'm out of here. Screw this. I won't deal with this guy. Take my hit points and run. Beating it was a coin flip, though? Yeah. Cute kitty stream. <laughs> he still got... Taco, three more bosses. Yeah, oh no, I know. Ugh, this is gonna be bad. Alright, so we get some powers here. Ugh. That's important. Our footwork's important. Our accuracy is really important. But he's dealing 12 damage. 8. Ugh, I want to be able to play accuracy. Oh, wait. Look at this, baby. You got the energy. Now's the time to do it. We're healing up. 10 block. And a strike. Potion well spent. We're healing up slowly but surely. If we could survive this. If we could survive. He's just gonna he just keeps going in ham, so. Okay. We're gonna alchemize. What do we get? Five dexterity. More dexterity. Six, twelve, eighteen. So this is enough in itself. We'll get rid of that. We'll shiv him. Okay. We can do this. <laughs> Straight up nervous right now. 21 damage. Oh, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Alright, well, we're gonna get rid of... Phantasma Killer. We're gonna... Weaken him a bit. Oh boy. We're gonna play everything, essentially. Get two hit points there. We're taking some serious damage. But at least he's taking some. Playing all these powers really helped us heal a little bit. What's up, the format? Yeah, we're still going. We're still going. We've got an, about an hour left of the stream. We're getting our butts kicked, though, so you might watch us lose here. <laughs> Alright, we got another power. Another power, yeah. Oh, man, we just don't have the defense that we need. This is it. Yeah, you're gonna we are gonna watch us lose right now. This is it. Oh, man, that was it we just didn't have the defense that we needed. It's really all it came down to. What us Oh, it hurts so bad. But I'm happy to have you back. Thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping back in. My potion's for artifact, and he hasn't even been doing anything negative to us. I'm gonna probably play it just to get. At that point, I'll probably end up playing it just to avoid the damage. All right. Well, we're gonna shiv the crap out of him. Oh my God! We're just. We're literally just surviving. We're just surviving. I can't believe it. I really can't even believe it. We're still going. Art of War. 
If you not play any attacks during your turn, gain additional energy next turn. That's not happening. Attack potion. Choose one of three random attacks. Add it to your hand. I like that. And we can put a put a get another dexterity in there. <laughs> Just be as dexterous as possible. Or another cow traps. Jeez. Could have used the potion with the dex uh, with the dex potion to get permanent five dex. Possible. <clears throat> yeah, well, I think that ultimately defense is our best option here. So if we're gonna vote, I say vote on footwork. And besides, either one of these powers, when we play them, will heal. Although offense has been our best defense, essentially. But we only have six hit points, so we really got to be careful. And the more dexterity we have, the better, because it'll make the few blocks that we have really, really viable. So we can hold on to them when we need them. So I definitely understand cow traps, because it's dealing damage back. But we are really getting our butts kicked by not having enough defense, so... Defense is really good for us. They don't have enough block yet for a third foot. That's what I'm saying, but when we do have a block, at least it'll be really powerful? I don't know. I mean, you said you play, you see this game played a lot, so I do trust you. What did we actually end up getting? Because now our deck is starting to get crunchy. I got the third footwork. Okay, left is always right in my opinion. Thanks everyone for joining. Thanks for everyone hanging out and uh, voting and being a part of this. Okay, these guys are frustrating. Okay, what we got going on here? 10 damage coming at us. Infinite blades. Another infinite blades. No, we need a. F we gotta get our footworks going. We need the block. I don't think I'm gonna do this yet. So that healed another two. Even though we're taking ten, we're we save some damage. What is he doing? Tends to use a buff. One of three random attack cards to add to your hand. It costs zero this turn. I think I'll do that when I need like that one more attack to make the strength and pop. What does Blade Dance do? Oh, Blade Dance adds two shifts to our hand. Oh, see, now we don't have the block. So I'm gonna get rid of Phantasma Killer. Still don't have the block. I'm just gonna play it anyway for the hit points. I can play everything, so there's no reason not to. Who are we going after? The dude in the front, right? He's, he's the problem child here. Still don't have a way to retain. Which stinks. Getting more damage. Cultists all the time. Okay. We're so low on hit points. This is just incredible. Oh, why didn't I use my... Oh. Why didn't I do it? Why didn't I use my artifact? Such a dope. We knew it was happening. So now this is gonna start. Ugh. That was a big mistake on our part. Really only need... I need two blocks, technically. So I can't kill him with the one hit. And it's like negative effect on you and attack for 10 damage. So we're, we're going to do this now, even though it's too late. We already have the hex. At least we'll avoid the negative effect. I'm going to do... Block. We'll get rid of a strike, unfortunately. Another... That's... I need the block to avoid the damage. I know, I know. I don't want those things. 
Ooh. So I get to add something to our hand. Could I kill him with this possibly? It costs zero this turn. Draw a card and discard a card. Nine damage. Draw a card and discard a card. That's pretty good. This is just going to exhaust. I only have one on. This should kill him. Yes. Sold. Worth it. Oh, it's two strength. So actually would have been more beneficial to get the draw a card, discard a card, but now we know. All right, we're going to neutralize him and then I think we're toasted here. We don't have any more defense. Yeah, I think pretty close to death. Gonna gain some shivs. Strengthened again. We're getting hammered in here. I guess I, I definitely understand what you mean about having not enough blocks to make the footwork worth it. For sure. But we survived another day. Somehow, we keep on trucking. Another infinite blades. <laughs> Just keep it coming. <laughs> Ah, uh, the piercing, piercing whale is just so good, though. At this point, we can just keep it going. And just keep getting more and more of these shivs. And just really shiv the crap out of people. Just do, like, massive damage. Just be insane. Honestly, if we had another infinite blades, it would just be insanity. How many, how many? <laughs> it's just so much more damage. It's a free nine damage per turn. Bef and that's before. Once this getting another one of these and a phantasma killer is just like a joke, especially if we retain two. Yep. In lieu of block, another piercing whale is valuable. Yep. It's hundred percent. It's the only way we can do. It's the only way we can survive, honestly, because the piercing whale exhausts. So at least when we play it, it's out of the deck and we can hold on to it with retain so that we have so many cards in our in our deck right now. Appreciate all your votes. All right, we're gonna heal up and hope we have enough. Ooh wee, this is gonna be a rough. Okay, I'm going to get rid of a defend. Oh god, all of our defends are drawn out of the gate. This is going to be real bad. This is going to be a rough... Oh no. I don't see us coming out of this one. Oh. I think this is it. I keep saying that, though. I'm trying to be positive. Alright, so I was told not even to bother with these guys. And just go after the boss. So, especially because I'm not even really doing that much damage. Can't kill him. It's getting bad. Well, definitely piercing whaling. That's for sure. Not even enough. Get rid of our phantasmal because we can't even play it. Wow, we can't even do any damage, so I might as well just hit these little twerps because I can't even hurt the boss. Unless I just held on to it. Oh, 
man. We are so close to death. They just attack every turn, too. So close to death. With only one defend, I have to do this, weaken him. I have to play this card. So at this point, I'm just playing what I have to play. I have to play this. Get the energy to play more cards. <laughs> Can I kill one? Nope, it's only still only doing four damage. Six, twelve. 18 damage. I guess killing one. I don't want to focus on these guys. I'm actually going to outmaneuver. Hold on to this. Yikes. We were really backed into a corner here. It's <sighs> not what I want. Oh boy. So now it's like I gotta kill one of these things. No, oh, we're done. We can't there's no way we can survive this. Eleven damage to all enemies. This it's literally nothing I can do. <laughs> this is the end for us. Makes me sad. Well, it was a fun run. Shiv build is tough. Poison builds for the win. I'm telling you, it's a curse. It's a curse with this character. That was really sad. I'm saddened by this. All right, well, I have to end the stream soon. Would it be weird to just start another run and just play for 15 minutes with you guys? Are you down? Just start another run and we'll pick it up later? Just for the fun of it? I only have 15 minutes left. Or we can just hang out and talk. Speed run. Let's analyze the choice given at the start. What's up, Laser Lily? Thanks for joining us. Cutting out of here in a little while. All right, we're doing it. We're analyze everything. I'm with it. As long as you guys are here for it, and you're willing to, to do this with me, I'm in. Another run, another attempt at the silent. We just keep losing, but we will do it, which is funny. I, I keep saying it. It's the easiest one. It's the first one I won with, and now it's been haunting me. Okay. Nothing spectacular here. Remove a card from our deck. Obtain three random potions. Lose seven max hit points and remove two cards, or obtain a random boss relic. I almost want to just go with random now. All right, the potions that we chose last time it was a lot of fun. To have those extra potions in our hand from the gate. Switching relic. Let's go. First look. Let's do it. What do we get? Gain energy at the start of your turn. All enemies start combat with one strength. Fantastic. <laughs> Yikes. Alright, so where are our elites? We get two elites no matter which way we go. Technically, we can get three elites if we hit the left here. So that's where we want to go. Plus 30% energy isn't terrible. I agree. I like it. I'm not opposed to this. 
Let's make this happen. They only start with one strength, then, so... And I get an extra energy. It's every turn, so... Okay, so we'll neutralize the back fella. We will defend up. We will... Strike at the front fella. It's good if you don't fight the secret boss. Oh, I would avoid the secret boss, whatever that secret boss is. There's really no reason to play either one of these cards. It doesn't even matter. I think the, the, when I won with this character the first time, I was pretty positive it was a poison build. You're dead. Oh, so close to death. Right? This is only four damage. Ah, so close. Oh, I can't even fight it right now. Okay. I guess that's the boss that I fight if I win with all of the main characters, right? This is, this is crazy. This little wormy won't die. I need some strengthen. Just die, worm. Gambler's Brew. Discard any number of cards and draw that many. Cool. Okay. Now we get to choose. Number one for finisher, deal six damage for each attack played this turn. A blur, gain five block. Block is not removed at the start of your next turn. Or acrobatics, draw three cards and discard one card. Lily! Jiminy? Jiminy? Thanks for joining. Is blur just barricade? Well, <clears throat> It's not removed at the start of your next turn. Maybe? Blur is just for one turn. So I guess, yeah, because the next turn it will get removed. End of combat. Oh, I like end of combat. Yeah, I mean, it's too early for me to tell which cards I love the best. I mean, drawing three cards is nice, I guess, because we have the extra energy. I love block always, and this could play in 12 if we ended up getting a lot of attacks, so. I love everything I see. Nothing, I'm not like, I'm not impartial to any of it. But, you know, the, the draw and discard could play in well, considering that if we don't have what we need in our hands. You come across an inconspicuous pedestal with a shining gold idol sitting peacefully atop. It looks incredibly valuable. Sure I don't see any traps nearby. We do this, right? We take the strap. Get me that gold idol, baby. This is way early in the game. Might as well do it. Okay. Um, my we, we grab the idol and stow it away. A giant boulder smashes through the ceiling into the ground next to you. You realize that the floor is slanted downwards as the boulder starts to roll towards you. So we take 17 damage, become cursed, which we could probably get rid of soon, and five max hit points. Curses really lose 75 gold. That is a good point. Take the damage. I trust you. I trust you, chat. You throw yourself at the boulder with everything you have. When the dust clears, you make your safe way out. Thanks for the opinions. Gotta remember we have this gambler's potion. Well... We have the block we need. Is it worth to play all three blocks? We'll do it. Look at that. I'll get rid of a strike. So now I can neutralize them and play two blocks. And get some damage in. Look at you. Acrobatics for the win. You don't need much more than 30 hit points for the boss if you have a terrible deck. If you not have a terrible deck, yeah, that's true. Yeah, if you have like a really, really set deck, like that, 
I mean, you can survive. I mean, I we did it. I survived the other day with a solid deck, and I didn't have many hit points, and we just made it work. Although it was at the skin of our teeth, but we did. Thanks for hanging out still, Lily. Appreciate the luck. Alright, we want to go in on him. The defense is really not doing anything for us. It doesn't hurt to play it. It's so whatever. Oh no! Do not strengthen. Alright. Oh, do it again. Get rid of a strike. Come defend. And it really didn't help us. I guess that was kind of a waste of play. I basically lost. It was a net loss out of that one. When did you start? I literally just started this, but I'm ending shortly. The second run, we did really good, kind of, with the first one, but ended up losing. No surprises there. Oh, hello, also, Squirrel. Welcome in. I'm only going to be playing for about another 15 minutes or so. And then I must depart. So we're just, just starting this run. We'll come back to it. And hopefully win with it. Later. Okay. So there's really no, no synergy with this deck right now. To be quite honest with you. But we ended up losing our starting idol uh, relic and got this one. So all enemies start with the strengthen. And, but we start every turn with an extra energy. Dude, the Watcher, how did you do with it? How did it... I actually can't watch her at all. <laughs> it's tough. I can't... I honestly, I was shocked that we won that fight. I honestly, I was really taken off guard by the fact that we won that. Playing this last. It's tough. The Watcher is a really hard class to play. I, I still don't even know if what we did was luck or what. Yeesh, chipping away at this guy. You got to the second boss, so you did pretty good. It's not, it's just, how did you build? What, what was your plan there, Squirrel? All right, so we need some attacks here. We don't need any of these cards. Of course we didn't get any. Well, we already had enough attacks. I don't even know what I was looking at. Blessing of Forge, upgrade all your cards in your hand for the rest of the combat. That's interesting. We can get an expertise, draw six, draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. Riddle with holes, two energy, three, deal three damage five times, or another acrobatics. So we start every, we start every turn with an extra energy. So Riddle with holes, although it costs two, we do have an extra energy every round to be able to play this. So this is pretty good. But I'm I'm opposed. You know I it's I'm gonna let chat decide on this one. I'm not really sure where to go with this. Tried using calm and rage together, so you were staying in calm, and then like kind of trying to bounce out of it with the the rage cards. Is that what I'm thinking? Or are you just bouncing back and forth to like get out of calm to trigger for the extra energy? If you have jacks or something, riddle could work. As it is, no? Okay, cool. I trust your opinions. I don't think I've ever actually played riddle with holes. I don't think it's, it's something I've ever even used. Uh, at least I don't remember. And then appro <laughs> appropriately jumping into double damage. Yes, yeah, that's the way I like it. So. I mean, I, I'm surprised that, you, you know, you, you did get far with that for good reason. I think that that's how I kind of built that class when I played it, you know, unintentionally, essentially. But, like, we were staying in calm and tanking up as much as possible. I had that really good, um, a really, really good power card that made it so when I'm in calm at the end of turn, I get the seven block. I think without that, it wouldn't have been as good. It was tough having things synergized. Yeah, it, that's, it's a really tough class. All right, well, I might as well do this. Oh, wait, no, I want to discard that. Uh, 
I could have upgraded everything. Yeah, so either you don't get attacked or you have a way to stance out of it. Yeah, that's it. Poor thing you're about rage is not to let yourself get hit with it. Yep. Yeah, well, exactly what you just said. Both of those combined. Then I worked, I was housing baddies. Try your best. Hey, what's up, Mrs. Squirrel? Thanks for hanging out. Hello, how's your day going? Appreciate the support. Okay, we only need five defense. That's all I need here. And this is just play for the fun of it. So maybe we'll get through the, the first elite and then I'll call it there. Six. Well. Striking. Nice. Another one down. Okay, we can add more stuff. So it's too early to tell what kind of build we're going. Uh, number one for a poison stab, deal six damage, apply three poison. Cloak and dagger, gain six block, and add one shiv to our hand, or we can gain four block with a deflect, number three. The only thing we've added so far is acrobatics, otherwise we're a basic, a basic um, silent deck. Yeah, that was actually a pretty easy win too for us, Miss Squirrel. So I appreciate your support though. I doubt between one and two. Yeah, because it's like we can go one way or the other. This would have been nice. A cloak and dagger would have been nice to pop if we we found that during our last run. We ended up having way too many cards in our hand in our deck last run and too many of the same cards. I got greedy for sure. Someone needed to throw the greed eyes in chat for me. To stop me from making all those terrible choices. And just keep getting more and more. Like, that's the thing with the balance in the game. Is I don't know how many of one card to have. but Zero for four is a waste. I guess if you have good draw, it's worth it. What did we get? Didn't even look. Ooh, poison stab. Okay, well, we know we're neutralizing. Especially because he ramps up. And he's going to shield himself. We're going to poison him too. And defend. And go in for some more strikage. Taking some heavy damage here. I guess I'm just gonna go with the two strikes and the two defends. I'm gonna stop playing acrobatics unless I, I need it, I guess. More damage coming our way. Come on, poison, work its magic. Yeah, if you go with a full poison build, the poison stab is worth it. If not, a free four block. I, I'm not opposed to it, but it's just. I know this shouldn't be a tough battle, but it's starting to be a tough battle. I don't need any of these defends, so means I won't get the defends next next round. I don't know. I'm not. I I just I love poison builds, so I, like I always want the poison dagger, and just to have that just that extra damage just sitting around, it's pretty nice. Can I kill him? We're gonna acrobatics to get rid of the slimed, so I can kill him. There you go. He's dead. Well, is he dead? Now I'm starting to forget. Does... Does his armor drop? My brain. I'm having a brain fart here. Does his armor drop before his turn goes? I don't know. I'm having a brain fart. Well, I can't. I don't even remember. Poison. That's what I'm like. I know that there was a thing that I shouldn't be concerned about. Thank you. For making me feel less crazy. My brain just had like a, a, a brain fart. I was like, is this, is this armor going to disappear?
Thank you, chat. <laughs> okay. So I have enough lock here. I will get rid of the defend. What, just, what did I just do? Oops. Well, whatever. I'm going to do this. I don't know why I'm doing this. Is it worth it? Maybe I'll get another neutralize. Nope. Doesn't even matter. It's kind of a dumb thing to play that, but... Maybe I could have got a neutralize. Who knows? Just for the free damage. We're definitely going to poison him. Oh, yeah, we win. Nice. Almost there. Finish the fight. We did it. <laughs> Huzzah. Okay. Oh, the Sneko oil. Okay. A footwork. A beautiful power. Gain two dexterity. Me likey. A poison stab. We already have some poison going on. So, can always stack it up. Six damage, three poison. Or malaise. Enemy loses X strength and apply X weak. And exhaust. Thanks for the votes. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. I do love me some footwork. I have to admit. Getting that poison going will be fun. Ooh. I'm out of... What are you voting for with that? <laughs> nice. Blaze is really good. Apply... Enemy loses X strength and apply X weak and exhaust. I mean, it is nice considering that I have the extra energy. So that is a good point, you know, being that I had four energy in my hand every time. We're doing this, right? We're here for the elite. There's really no buffing to be had. I guess I'll end until I get my footwork. My footwork. There it is. I'll get rid of this. Footwork. Now I can go in on him. But technically, I can wait one more round so I have full energy. He doesn't wake on an armor hit. That's correct. But if I poison him, he will. So I, sh I honestly started on a poison stab. Okay. Oh, because then... Well, then he'll wake up. Well, I can't do more damage anyway. Yeah, that's what I say. Then he wakes up. So I technically should have waited one more round. <sighs> hmm. I need more defense. do this for free but I have this in my hand so I'll play this one okay we're definitely gonna neutralize apply that weakness get one our 14 block that we need and we can strike in on him yeah I'll use that gambler's rear when I don't have that other the Sneko last all the entire rest of the match at least the last time I played Sneko, it, it lasted the entire rest of the match. Why, why would I want a Sneko then? Isn't... I don't even have high cost cards. Unless I'm missing something. One, two, three. You get some good stuff on average. 
Yeah, if you have some three or two cost cards. <laughs> sweet, sweet confusion. Yeah, I don't, I don't. It's too scary for me. I can upgrade some. I mean, I like the cards that I'm looking at right now. Let's do it. <laughs> Why not? All right, so. Get rid of the Strico. I like it. Although, oh man, that would have been dope to be able to upgrade the, um, I should have upgraded the footwork. I'm a dope. That's what I should have upgraded. One energy. Not worth it. I can take him. Neutralize him. Aha! Nine. That's enough. Right? Yes. More than enough block. What's coming? You know, all acrobatics. Maybe I'll get a poison stab. That's what I'm talking about. Get that poison in there. Don't die. I'm, I think we're... So far, so good. But I appreciate it. I'm trying not to. It took forever, but you're back. Welcome back. Oh, just in time for us. Probably end up cutting out of here soon. But I appreciate you stopping back in. I'm glad you got home safe. So... Eight. No, that's not enough. I was like, can I deal enough damage? Well, either way, we will defend. Taking some damage. Not too much. <laughs> it's a little cheerleader. Yeah, it's awesome to have it, too. Alright, so we win no matter what. I could just end our turn here and just win, but we will damage him instead. I want to strike him! Nice. Ooh, whenever you use a potion, heal five hit points. Love it. Okay, we can add more stuff to our deck here. A number one for a slice, a number two for a blade dance, and number three for a dagger throw. Nice. We won. We did it. Thanks for the votes. Awesome. I love it. Slice, free damage, free five damage. Um, zero cost, five damage, number one. Number two is a blade dance. Adds two shivs to our hand uh, for one energy. Um, both shivs each do four damage and then they exhaust. And then we have a dagger throw, which I deal nine damage, I draw a card, and then I discard a card. So it's like a utility, essentially, for one energy. I love it. Appreciate all of the votes. Ooh, lots of votes. What did we get? Cool. Dagger throws. Love it. Hmm. I want to go just a little further. I want to see what this relic is. I'm too curious. Have just a little bit more time. Oh, the strengthen on these guys. Terrible. Yikes, can I kill one? I can kill the one in the back. That'll avoid some damage. And six and twelve, I can kill the one in the front. So I can kill two of them. I'm still taking a decent amount of damage, or I can kill one. Six, twelve. Kill the biggest one. Let's outright kill the back. Okay. Choose a card to discard. Six, twelve, eighteen damage. Get rid of this. Okay. 
I know they are cute, but I have to kill them. <laughs> Magic or Hearthstone? Love them both. Okay. I mean, I, I do like the zero cost cards, though. They are very helpful. But I guess it depends on how much draws I have. Huh. Free damage is free damage, but I like the utility. Kind of can just kill one and take some damage. I guess I'll do that. I'm, I'm gonna outright kill one. I just a little bit more energy, it'd be nice. I don't know if that was worth it all. So I'm taking damage. Ugh. Tiny little pot of some goo. With eyes. Do you see them? It's creeping me out. Alright. Footwork. Lots of defense here. That footwork. I do need to deal some damage here. Would love to kill another one. Let's see what we get. Four. Hmm. Damn, I'm only, I'm only dealing four damage right now. I only have two more attacks to do. Oh, you know what? I have to get rid of... I have to defend here. We got rid of our other strike. Defend, and we'll neutralize this dude in the front who's doing the most damage. Yikes. So at least we're not taking damage. Slow burn. All right, this is more manageable. Poison. Six and 12. So I think what I'm going to do is kill one of them, really work on another, and avoid all my damage. So there we go. Kill two. Math! Math is the winner of everything. 24 to 26 damage total, including power and exhaust. For this, are you talking about for this class? I like poison stab because it's just like it, it just deals free damage you know I, I i mean but i'm that's why i'm so partial to poison bills in general i just like poison <laughs> why do they only have one eye i know they're so creepy what's up varanon welcome back oh you were listening on your ride home oh dope appreciate you lurking around welcome back varanon glad you had a safe trip home do you prioritize removing any cards, Squirrel? Um, I know I prioritize removing, especially some of the basics. Oh, we can vote. Here we go. A sneaky strike. Deal 10 damage if you discarded a card this turn. Gain 2 energy. Escape plan. Draw 1 card. If you draw a skill, gain 3 block. And eviscerate. Cost 1 less for each card discarded this turn. Deal 6 damage 3 times. Yeah, there's so many strats to this game. It's, it's like, I think that there's plenty of that you are winnable. It's just making sure that you actually work the synergies and get the relics that you need. And you can kind of make anything work if if you can find a synergy within itself. Like, I think that all cards are in this game for a reason. I don't think that any cards are really absolutely awful. It just, obviously some are better. Like the well-laid plans is like the best card that we all can all agree on. Well-laid plans being like the best card in the game. But, it's like if I'm getting those zero cost free cards to play and I'm able to get a lot of draws that's really helpful you know but the other cards that you know the poisons and stuff maybe I want some more some more energy and stuff what did we get? lizard tail when you would die heal the 50% of your max hit points instead did I not take it? oh my god hold on turn give me that tail Try to trick me. Okay. 
I'm going to end the stream at the tavern. <laughs> I used my hearthstone, went to the tavern, and this is where I will conclude the stream. So I do have to go to work this evening. Um, I'll throw up some links in chat. I appreciate everybody hanging out. I'm sorry we couldn't make it through the next run, but it was good. A good start. I'm happy where we're at already. So we'll pick this up and next we play. Um, there's some links that I posted, so check us out. A really awesome new video just posted um, by a sweet Jeff uh, <laughs> on our YouTube main YouTube channel, Shake the Box. Um, he, it went up yesterday. It's a really fun cooking video, so check that out if you have some free time. It's a fun to watch. Um, definitely worth your time, in my opinion. Uh, you can also check out some of our gaming videos over at the Shake the Box Gaming YouTube. Um, you can join the chat on our Discord, which is always fun. Very active community there. So if you haven't joined our Discord already, jump into it and see what all the hubbub's about. Um, otherwise, come hang out with us on Twitter and see some of the posts. You know, you might know when we're going live and stay active with the community that way as well. Um, my name is Jimmy, aka Ad Astra. So Chris is going to be back streaming tomorrow. He's making his way home debut um, for his late night tipsy whipsy stream. Um, so I believe he probably airs around 11 or 12 midnight um, Friday into Saturday morning. So I hope you're all looking forward to that because I'm really happy to have him back onto the channel to have our co-streamer back. Um, and again, as always, I appreciate you all hanging out 